Hello, and welcome to Stage, Screen, and In Between with Helen. I'm Helen Primus, and today I have a very special guest. I am with Daniel Ferron, and he is not only an accomplished author, but he's much more, and we're going to find out about that today. Hi, Daniel. How are you? I'm so good. good to see oh, you again. Yeah. Good to see you, Helen. Thank you. How is yeah. everything? Good, good. 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 Daniel and I met at Mob Movie Con and Soprano, and Con. Soprano Con in so New Jersey at Harris. Yes. Mm -hmm. And uh, he was telling me about all the things that he does. And I said, you know what? Got to get you on my show. So Daniel is an author of a very good book called The Tour, the Tour of Tourette's. And it is actually a what I call a coffee table book version of my documentary, which is called My Life, My Story, My Tourette's. It's a, a full-length film about my life with Tourette's and many other people that we interviewed, and it's wonderful. It's available on YouTube. Um, again, my life, my story, my Tourette's. And then the book, uh, I came up with a lot of great still pictures that my business partner and I came had over the course of three years. We took great pictures and made it into a nice, fun little book. And what's his name? Uh, Peter Junta is my, my business partner. And um, he, he filmed it and edited it and produced it and directed it and put it all together wonderfully. Um, and so, yeah, so that's available to stream for free on, on YouTube. And the book is available on Amazon. Uh, and again, it's the tour of Tourette's. Um, so basically, when I start making some money, I will contribute. <laughs> of course, I will contribute you know, a share of it to PATSA, which is the Pennsylvania Tourette Syndrome Alliance. Um, I'm great friends with them and I help them out as often as I can and that's it so we're yeah it's, it's just about promoting Tourette's and, and awareness making people so, so uh, Daniel tell us something about Tourette's because uh, we might not know uh, of course people think that Tourette's is just possibly cursing yeah, uncontrollably um, and there's much more to it I watched your documentary which was so well done how long did it take you to do that it took about around three years total of our, you know, along with having our normal jobs and lives. And I was taking care of my mom at the time who, who has since passed away. Um, but so about three years and it was wonderful. I mean, we, so many doors opened for us and we met a lot of amazing people. So Tourette's is a neurological disorder and yes, it's still widely misunderstood. Um, it's a mystery, you know, it's the brain. We can't figure out the brain is, is complex. Um, it, it's, it's, it's a neurological disorder of, of what we call tics, twitches, movements, and it's ironically in the same category as it's of the other neurological disorders, which is Asperger's, autism, ADHD, and uh, OCD. So they're all kind of clumped together in the same genre of the brain that makes us different than everybody else. Yeah. Well, you seem very normal. I can't really pick up anything with you, but I imagine that you've had a certain amount of training to overcome certain things you may, may have. Right. Well, see, I'm 50 years old, so in the 70s, I mean, nobody knew what you know, Tourette's were. I mean, the fact that at least people know of it has come along, you know, people have come a long way. So I was, a, I was in um, experimental um, medications from a doctor in New York uh, for seven years of my life, and of course, nothing worked but somebody had to do it. So my, my Tourette's were severe as a child and came off all the meds at about 12 or 13 and I got so much better. I consider that a miracle because I was able to sit and talk like I'm talking with you now, yeah. drive a car, hold a job where I didn't think I'd ever be able to do that because my arms, everything was, I had seven ticks at one time. Head was all over the place, arms, I whipped my neck back. It was just, you really can't be comfortable. It's exhausting. Yeah. And everybody's, everybody's Tourette's are different. I mean, everybody has different levels of it. Um, and some, some, some more severe, some not so severe. Uh, majority of people will get to like, like where I'm at, where they, they can function in society into their teens and adulthood. But not always. There's always the exceptions, yeah. Now, in your documentary, you did interview quite a few people that have Tourette's, oh, yeah. and you met with uh, politicians. And how did you go about that? That was amazing. It was, you know, I, I, I said, God, oh, God opened the door and 10 others would blow open. No longer am I the frightened little child you can bully with nightmares, intrusive thoughts, and various compulsions. I can look you in the eye and see you are no more than a coward. 
that turns people's minds against themselves. You may have heard of Tourette syndrome. You may even think you know all about it. But it's a complex disorder that affects many lives. Even though Tourette syndrome is more recognized today than ever before, it is still greatly misunderstood. So come with me on a tour of Tourette's and uncover the truth about this disorder. It affects many people in many different ways. And this is my life, my story, my Tourette's. Just knowing a lot of people, um, you know, word of mouth and, and telling people what we were doing on social media and asking people if they know anybody, you know, it was the luck of the draw. And I'm friends with Ro our state representative, Rosemary Brown, who's a very good friend of mine. Um, and, you know, she was able to to be interviewed and talked about the, the uh, you know, the, the um, uh, not political, but the, the different aspects, like as far as funding for the state and all right. that. Um, so we got a variety uh, in New Jersey, got a variety of, of a friend of mine, doctor who is a, a podiatrist with Tourette's, um, and, and we went to a couple universities, and, we, and just from, from younger people to older people. And like I said, PATSA, which is the, the, the Tourette Syndrome Alliance for Pennsylvania, um, I'm involved in them. I uh, filmed some of the film there, and I go to volunteer at the camps every year. And... From there, I met a lot of other parents with kids with Tourette's. It was just wonderful. That was good. Now, also, uh, you, that's not the only thing you do. You're also an actor, so tell everybody about that. Okay. So I've always, been, I've always had the bug of entertaining people, making them laugh. And, you, you know, it's, just, it's one of those things when you, you, you want to dress up and you want to put makeup on and, and entertain and people and make them laugh. <laughs> <laughs> and um, so I started that at a young age. And I, I'm self-taught for special effects makeup. And um, so I, I, for years, when I lived in, in Jersey, uh, before 9-11, I did a lot of extra work, you know, in New York, pounding the pavement, getting my face out there, and, and uh, be, all before the internet, you know, so yeah. I'd get my box of manila envelopes, yeah. some Sharpies in the backstage every Thursday. And your labels. And my labels, and just send them out, mail them out, and wait. And... Um, Ironically, uh, talking about The Sopranos, I worked on it twice as an extra, which I was very fortunate uh, to do early on in the season. <clears throat> Excuse me. Uh, I got called for it, and then two years later, got called again towards the last season or the, the last uh, couple seasons. And, um, but I, I've done a lot of things. I was in The Basketball Diaries with Leonardo DiCaprio and Mark Wahlberg. I've done um, Law and Order, West Wing, um, <clears throat> excuse me. I just recently was in Glass, M. Night Shyamalan's Glass, um, Creed Two with Sylvester Stallone, and um, M. Night Shyamalan's uh, Apple TV show called Servant. So I've, I've been working, and then everything got shut down because of the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. So it's just starting to build back up now. Yeah. Um, and I am a, a, a five or six year member of the Screen Actors Guild, which is a blessing, and has helped me get. Maybe, you know, at least better camera time. Yeah. Um, so I'm very and better food. Huh? Better food. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah, better food. Yeah, sure. So it, I feel really wonderful of where everything's going, at, you know, at, at this tight stage of my life. And um, I also I, I'm a home health aide. So I work with seniors in the home. That's my my regular job. And I love it. I, it's very, very rewarding. Um, yeah, I did that after I took care of my mom for a couple of years. And it's life is good, you know. I really can't complain during all the craziness. I'm I'm blessed, you know. So now, uh, with Halloween coming up, yeah. 
What are you going to be for Halloween? I am actually making, um, <clears throat> as I often make my own costume, I'm going to be F Frankenberry, this, the <laughs> cereal. So I will be an all pink Frankenstein, if you know what, what that's, how, the Halloween cereal. And I will be Frankenberry. <laughs> and I actually will be um, volunteering to do, um, entertain some of the kids who will be trick or treating in the area um, from store to store. So that'll be fun. On, yeah. That's very nice. That's very nice. So now, um, getting back to, uh, there might be a Gotti too. They're kind of working on that, yeah, right? Yeah. And now, uh, tell everybody what it was you were doing the day that I met you at Sopranos Con, my yeah. movie con, my movie con, Sopranos Con. Right. So yeah, this was taking place in, like you said, in Atlantic City this year, and it was wonderful. I, I, with the two of my friends, got to volunteer. It was the first year, though. For the, the first movie. year, my movie con, yeah. And um, <clears throat> so they really weren't, weren't sure what to expect, but I think they had a pretty good turnout. I was honored enough to be assistant for, to Armando Sante, wonderful man, uh, for the day um, during, during the con, and um, helped with people coming along and the autographs. And then you had come along because you wanted, you were going to interview. I me. wanted an interview with Armando Sante. <laughs> Who wouldn't? Yeah. And um, so. And what did he do to me? Made a date with me. And then he, yeah. And Armand Sante stood me up. I know I'm not I'm supposed to say it. I'm he stood me up. Picture, buddy. Yeah, because we were supposed <laughs> to take a picture together. But I have a good feeling we'll meet again. I have a good feeling we'll meet again in the future. He's a wonderful man. And yeah, he, he got up to do, um, to do a Q&A and things got crazy and he, he didn't come back to, on that day. But you, I think the next day you got your interview. Yeah, I, I got my, <laughs> my interview in the morning and, and honestly, Armando Sante doesn't stand anybody up. He was very apologetic, oh, no. yeah, no. and he was very gracious, and he's uh, working with William DeMeo, and I was interviewing William DeMeo the next morning yes. when who comes along to his booth yeah. but Armando <laughs> Sante. And, yeah. and William DeMeo said, Armando Sante, don't, don't stand anybody up. No, no, exactly. And, and I, I got him right there when he came in in the morning. And he was apologetic oh, and gracious. Yeah. And I told him what a fan I am and how much I loved He's him. Great, he really nice He's guy. so nice so and a great storyteller. Oh, when yeah. he goes back and relates oh, no, stories or what's, or, or what's going on with different uh, things that have happened doing various movies, he really is captivating the way he tells yeah, yes, the story, no, right? Yeah, yes, absolutely. So, so did you have any conversation with him while you I were there? I did. It was brief, but I did, yeah, because I basically, his table at the convention was set up with, with you know, pictures that the, these, the guests come, he will sign them for a fee, uh, may, maybe take a couple of, of photos, <clears throat> excuse me, and um, so basically I was like crowd control or line control, so people would come up um, and, and I, would, I would take their ticket for, which was transferred into cash later for him, and they would get their autograph, and then I just, you know, escort them, usher them out the other way. So we keep the line moving. Yeah. And, and, uh, what, and how, how fabulous was that event? We have to just say it how, many, really, I had a great how many celebrities were there. Oh, and, it was wonderful. Oh. And the fans that were there. It was it was really good for considering you know with with, with the virus. It was a nice big, it was a really successful um, event post COVID. So um, and I, I'm hoping next year is even bigger. Yeah, he was there. Like I said, William. And, William. And, and we're also actually you know uh, Daniel said he wants to ask for a role in Gotti too. Yeah, I'd like to he'd, be a part of it. He'd like to be a part of it. Yeah. And, and, Hey, I'm Screen Actors Guild since the 1980s, so <laughs> hey, I'm available. here. We're both, We're both available. available, just, you know, call us. Call us, call us, yeah. <laughs> but I, I remember when he first sat down and we were just chatting, uh, um, Mr. Mr. Oman, and um, he, he was telling me about Gotti too, that they were gonna be working on this film. And I said to him, and I'm not Italian, but I play one on TV, I always say. I said, I want in. I want in, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Or else. Or else. You'll be in cement shoes. That's it. So I have a good feeling um, that I, I might be a part of that, which would be wonderful for both so, of us. So, Daniel, let, let me go back to your book for a minute sure. and, your, and your documentary. Was that healing for you to do that? It, you know what? It, it absolutely was. Um, as I get older, like I said, I'm 50, and as I get older and I continue to educate people as needed, you know, that was because I moved on with my life after, you know, I moved on and I, I didn't know the new generation of Tourette's and what was going on. So I, I, I was kind of got back into it with, with through Patsa and then making this film, it was very healing. Thank you for asking me that because it was very important. Yeah. 
and with every time we met more people and we got the you know getting the word out and it was it was it was it was like a surreal experience and yeah. i said god because to, to, to once upon a time people yeah. you know it sounds contagious and the name sounds threatening yeah. and people didn't know what it was and now look how good you do i oh well, i'm do, yeah i do great and yeah. and 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 people i've known for a while sometimes they go oh i didn't even know you had it because it's it's it it, it, it triggers stress yeah. like which we're all you know have a lot of stress but i'm 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 also you know i'm very religious and i keep god close to my heart yeah. and it's a miracle i you know Something life is a miracle now and how it ha it must have been healing and helpful for people to speak up and tell oh, their yes. story, right? Yeah. How, how did they feel? Absolutely, you know, and it, it all happened, not quickly, but it happened, and I think people came, yeah, the people who are now friends of mine who came along, you know, to, to we came in contact with to do this, I think, yeah, because they got to tell the five or 10 minutes of their life yeah. and what they've been through, and absolutely, it's healing. And I, I speak to almost everybody still um, who, who we interviewed, and see, some are far away, but on on the phone and all that, and it's wonderful. It's it's just, and I again just to have a a, a, a nice community of because it's a, it is a community, and I tell people I said I made this film for all of us. Oh, I, like I didn't just make it, you know, I didn't make it for about me. It's you know the title and all that, but I said it opened up so many doors for other people to yeah, yeah like you said to heal and tell their story and go. I have Tourette's and I'm fine. Don't you know? Yeah. Don't be scared of me. Now, now, what are the um, percentage rates of people getting Tourette's? Do you have any idea? Oh God, it's probably it's you know every year it's something different. I think it, I don't know if it was one out of every 100 kids might have had it. They they usually go the percentages are by children because you have the newer generation. Is it something that's hereditary or no? It's I've always I've always been told it's hereditary, usually through the male side of the family, the father's side. Yeah. And unfortunately, sometimes the father, dads want to, dads can fix everything in the house, but they can't fix their kid. Aww. And that can be traumatizing to a father, um, even though it's not his fault, you know, yeah. but they feel responsible. So then there's that, you know, they, you know, support groups were, you know, just to, to say, no, it's not your fault, obviously. Um, but nobody in my family, my direct family has it. Uh, but I, I, again, so many, and, the, and then I've met families with children and parents who all have it. Yeah. Wow. So it's just, you know, it's again, it's a mystery. That's why it's a syndrome is because it's a mystery. Have you been in touch with anybody since you finished the doc? Oh yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. Because it was done. It was done in the last five or six years, and I continue to promote it and talk about it. And sometimes we'll do a showing or screening of it because it's timeless. It's now in the history books, yeah. if you will, or will be. Yeah. So tell us something about the special effects makeup that you do. Ooh, yeah. So I got into that um, as a backup because I thought, you know, in this business, you could never learn too much to have, uh, you know, if you need to work and you got to work and pay the bills. So, um, yeah, I do. I, I, I love the transformation of of makeup, whether it's on myself or somebody else. And I love it. What I, are your favorite things to do? What do you do best? Mostly uh, fantasy and monster makeup. So that's my that's my thing is a lot of prosthetics, and um, and 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 you know like like monsters and I, Planet of the Apes, classic Planet of the Apes makeup. Wow. So now you said that you're self-taught. So how did you go about doing that? You know, and again, I have to tell you, before the computers, you know, this is all, uh, you know, in the in the in the 90s and early 2000s, um, like books and 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 you know video video on VHS at the time, of of uh, watching and. And practicing on myself. That's what I would, I would use myself yeah. as the canvas because it was more comfortable. And I, it just kind of, I can't explain it. It just, I would see something and, and, and say, oh, I, I, I can try that. It was trial and error. Yeah. And um, I actually was very fortunate. I took a, a, a brief makeup course with a, a friend of mine years ago in, in Jersey, shortly after 9-11. And he got a gig to do makeup for a commercial at the time for the WWF with Kane. And he brought myself and these other couple uh, on and we got to do the makeup, some of the makeup for the background actors, which was wonderful. That's great. Now, uh, our backdrop here is the Wizard of Oz and Frankenstein. Uh, Frankenstein. We have Darth Vader. Vader here. It's wonderful, yeah. We have, and uh, where Hill. are we right now? We are at the Pocono Community Theater in East Stroudsburg, Pennsylvania. 
Yeah. And oddly enough, I was here uh, probably, the first time that I was here was probably over 20 years yeah, ago. Yeah. And um, I came to see a movie here, and I, at the time, you could get in for free with your Screen Actors Guild right. card. Right. And they actually came out and wanted to see me because I was the first one they had here that was a member of Screen <laughs> Actors Guild. That's and cool. I got in for free, which you're not allowed to do anymore because some people took advantage, took advantage of it, sure. you know. Yeah. But that was really uh, nice. I was honored yeah, uh, yeah. for that. It's but this nice is really a very theater. nice yeah. setting. Now, um, and we have another poster of Jack Nicholson in The Shining. <laughs> uh, so now, uh, what are some of your uh, favorite movies to watch this time of year? I am a huge Halloween fan, the original Halloween. And then, of course, we got the new Halloween Kills that comes out uh, in a couple of days. So I am, I already got my tickets and I will be there. I will be there for a matinee on Thursday. Then tomorrow, actually, um, ironically. So yeah. I love Halloween, and and you also saw the Many Saints of Newark, right? I did. I loved it. Yeah, I saw it twice, and uh, I almost worked on it. I submitted for it, but I didn't get in. Okay. But it was wonderful, and I actually have some friends uh, from the Philly area um, who did get a chance to work on it, and they got some screen time, which oh. is cool. I loved it, and I, I think I think David Chase is going to do a second one and cover more ground. So I'm looking, maybe I'll work on, maybe we can get work on that. Yeah. The two I had met uh, Michael Gandolfini uh, years ago at the Christmas party that the Sopranos had for uh, the end season six. Yeah. It was uh, at that time, because you know, my uh, my boy was Vito Spadafore Jr. on the Sopranos. So <laughs> yeah. being he was underage, I got to be on set and I was also his acting coach and his manager. Oh, yeah, so yeah. he can't push me out. <laughs> 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 he had goth makeup on. He was going through that. Yeah. Goth stage. Yeah, yeah. 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 And Michael and uh, James Gandolfini and his James sister Lita sat yeah. with us. And Michael was was so sweet. Oh, they were so young at the like time, you yeah. know. Yeah. Yeah. And uh, boy, has he grown up since then. And he does have such a resemblance to his dad, don't you think? I think so. He looks, yeah, absolutely. I, I've not met him. I, I'd love to. And I think in the future I will. He just seems like a genuine, sweet soul, yeah. Michael. And I think he did a great job in, in Many Saints, along with all the other actors. And um, I think he has a good career ahead of him. So, yeah, yeah. 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 Which well, is I haven't seen it yet, but that's on my to-do list this yeah. weekend. I've been dying to see it. Didn't get a chance, but I'm going yeah, this go weekend. Yeah. I can't yeah. wait to see yeah. him. And, and a lot of people that I know oh, yeah, are right. in it sure. also. So I want to go because I'm, yeah, I'm a fan, yeah, a fan, and support them. Yeah. And of course, you know, anything Soprano, Sopranos related, holds my interest very keenly yeah, I know it's like <laughs> our con it's our connection because that's our how we met when right. when we were at, at the at the con and, and you were waiting for a month and you said where are you from and I, I told you and you said oh my god I said um, you're not that far from me so anyway yeah and that's where we started talking and here we are, yeah, <laughs> here we are. so is there any uh, words of wisdom that you'd like to share with anybody who has Tourette's Sure. I mean, it, it's again, it's not easy. It's not an easy road, but um, you have to find what works for you. In, in, in a lot, by the way, a lot of people who with Tourette's in history somehow have, whether it's the acting bug, something in the creativity yeah. world, music, guitar, sports, something active. I've met so many people who are, are brilliant singing, rapping. Yeah. Um, anything in the camera, you know, whatever, something in the entertainment business, which is, which is amazing. Um, and, you know, find what works for you and, but be, be your own voice and, and help others, you know, that you can, who can't, excuse me, who, who, who are having a, tr you know, trouble and help them build their confidence up. And there's so many, there are plenty of Facebook, uh, pages with, for Tourette support groups. Oh, that's good to oh know. yeah. Tons of them. If you just google them or put in you know tourettes there's so much support now uh where they just it wasn't around years ago because yeah. nobody knows so it really it, there's a lot of uh, you know just by typing the word in find out in your community where you are if there is or start a support group yeah start and with. again the name of the uh, documentary is my life my story my tourettes mm -hmm. and the book is the tour of tourettes, the tour of tourettes. I'll, I'll put in a close-up shot you. of that. And, and ironically, um, teal is the official color of Tourette's. The, the uh, support ribbon wow. is teal. That's why I have the teal book here. That's wonderful. So this came out really wonderful. And um, again, just really happy to, to, to be here and promote it and talk with you today. So thank Aww. you, Helen. 
so good to see you again. You now, do you have a website where people can follow you? I don't. I'm on Facebook and, and Instagram, uh, Daniel Ferrin. Just put Daniel Ferrin and you'll find me. Uh, but I don't right now. I'm actually have a friend that I'm, is working on a website for me, so I don't have oh, one right now. But you're yeah, trying to get it all together. But I have my Instagram and my and and then this has its own Facebook page. Uh, the 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 film, oh. the Tour of Tourette's. Um, so if you want to go and like I said, please, I I, I encourage people to watch the film um, on, on available on YouTube, and and educate yourself on it so you can pass on information to other people and help anybody that you know who has Tourette's. That would be great. Thank you, Daniel. You're amazing. Thank you're you. amazing. You Thank do you. so much good, Appreciate and you've been through so much, but I can tell that you're healed. Oh, very much. <laughs> and I continue to heal. It really, it right. is. And now he can heal others. Yeah. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Thank you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Hope to see on Gotti, too. Yes. Oh, yeah. Or, 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 or uh, Many Saints of Newark. Oh. Hope. Why not? Ha, ha, ha.